This is all about the rise of China's space technology. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Arthur. And of course, this is Richard Aguilar. And we are back again today to give you another awesome video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. The advantages of developing space capabilities are manifold. Satellites facilitate military and civilian communications. It is also providing opportunities for cutting-edge research and exploration, resulting in numerous breakthroughs that have been used to address medical, environmental, and technological challenges back on Earth. So today, you will see some amazing examples showcasing how China is now becoming a superpower in space programs. And without further delay, let's get started with our number one. Number one is China's new generation of space launch vehicles. China's first National Space Day, in the lead up to the day celebrating space travel, the media went to take a look at one of the country's major space projects, its new generation of launch vehicles. The Long March 5. It is currently under development and will support China's space exploration program for the next 20 or 30 years. Meanwhile, China has also set itself the goal of launching its first Mars probe by 2020. Number 2 is China's Chang'e 4 probe for 6th lunar day. The lander and the rover of the Chang'e 4 probe have resumed work for the 6th lunar day on the far side of the moon after sleeping during the extremely cold night. The lander woke up at 6 p.m. and the rover U-2-2 or the Jade Rabbit 2 awoke at 2.16 a.m. according to the Lunar Exploration and Space Program Center of the China National Space Administration. Number 3 is China Space Station to be completed in 2022. China's space station is expected to be completed in 2022. In 2019, a Long March 5B rocket is scheduled to launch the first module, the Chan'e 1 core module. The chief engineer of China Academy of Space Technology explains the progress so far and the path forward.
Number four is Chinese private space company launching first carrier rocket. China launched its first solid propellant carrier rocket, developed by a Chinese private company. The ZQ-1 rocket was developed by Landscape, a Beijing-based rocket maker. Its technicians are former state-owned aerospace industry workers. Carrying a small satellite, the rocket launched at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China, the company said. The 19-meter-long rocket has a 1.35-meter diameter, a takeoff weight of 27 tons, and a thrust of 45 tons. It is flexible, cost-efficient, has been designed with mature technology and fast responsibility. Number 5 is China completes lander test for 2020 Mars mission. China completed a crucial landing test in the northern Hebei province ahead of a historic unmanned mission to Mars. The Mars lander underwent a hovering and obstacle avoidance test at a sprawling site littered with a small rocks to simulate the uneven terrain on Mars, which the lander would have to navigate on its descent to the planet's surface. Number 6 is China Tested Solid Rocket Engine Chinese scientists have successfully tested China's first 3-meter solid rocket engine. As part of the evaluation, Engineers raised the engine's temperature to 3,000 degrees Celsius for 100 seconds. It is the largest solid rocket engine that China has ever built. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation said the technology used to develop the rocket could be applied to large and heavy launch vehicles in the future. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So, if you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.